Hey everybody, Jesse with Survival Summit. This is called hardtack. This is a very simple recipe. This was used during the Civil War. Sailors hundreds of years ago used this. They actually found some hardtack from a couple hundred years ago, and it's still edible. How do you make hardtack? Well, it's pretty simple. Unbleached flour, salt, and water. The salt acts as a natural preservative. The flour will provide some protein, calories, even micronutrients, complex carbs, a very tiny amount of fat. Now, if you're saving up for emergency rations, yes, this is probably not one that's going to taste good. It's probably not even close to as good as your 25-year shelf life foods. But it's still a good ration to have. It'll last over a hundred years. Back in the day, they used to wrap it in cloth and it got weevils. But nowadays, put it in an airtight container, vacuum seal it, you'll be perfectly fine. Hopefully you never have to eat it. I also like to filter my water with the Grail GeoPress. Based on all the stuff happening in Ohio, Pennsylvania, all these areas that have been affected by chemicals in the water, it's, it's better to be safe than sorry, in my opinion. The Grail GeoPress is a great filter for pretty much all, almost all chemicals, viruses, bacteria. I just love it. Anyway, to get back on track, to make these, all you need to do is mix salt with your flour, mix it in real well, then start adding water slowly. You essentially want the same consistency as Play-Doh. You don't want it to be sticky at all. Once it's good... Knead it out with your hands, put it on a tray, make it about a half inch thick. You're also going to want to poke holes, try to get them all the way through if you can. You can use, they have specialty tools for this, but you can also use a fork, you can use toothpicks. It makes it easier to break off, it, it helps to bake evenly through to dry it out. The reason these don't get bacteria and they last so long is because they're, they're literally as hard as a hockey puck. Nothing is penetrating in here. So to cook these, there's a few different ways to do it. A lot of people have different philosophies. Some people like to put their oven on 350 degrees Fahrenheit, cook for a half an hour, flip it, cook for another half an hour, and then turn the oven off and let them sit in the oven until it cools off. Let it dry for a day or so, and it's fine. I like to cook them at 375 degrees for half an hour, take them out, let them cool for about 20 minutes, flip them, put them back in the oven, bake them for another 30 to 35 minutes. You don't want them to be super brown around the edges. You don't really want to burn them. It's not going to hurt it. This is a pretty good consistency right here. These need about another day to dry out, but these will be perfectly fine. So if you guys want to try this, Try it out. Try it out this weekend. I mean, if anything, it's something cool to do with your kids. Some of you might remember back in elementary school, you used to make Christmas ornaments this way. <laughs> so I bet you didn't know your Christmas ornaments were edible. So if you guys do end up doing this, come back to the comments and let us know. And let us know what you think. Now, here's a very important piece of this. When it comes time to eat them, unless you want to break your teeth... You want to put them in water for at least 10 to 15 minutes, soak them in a stew, or put them in your coffee. Just get them wet so they're soft. Otherwise, they're really difficult to eat. 